everyone! Today we will introduce Boss Nola and her weapon, Rumble. This is the first weapon in Tower of Fantasy that can switch between different elements. Nola is more complex since she is able to integrate many different elemental systems. Don't worry! Let's dive right into the unique mechanisms of Boss Nola. Can you keep up with my speed? Don't fall behind. First, click on the Settings button in the top right corner of the skill interface and choose one from the five stats to activate. Each of the five stats has its corresponding traits and element resonance properties. Choosing any of the four dual stats other than Altered will also activate the corresponding element fusion. Choosing Altered Damage, Flame Physical, or Volt Frost will give on-field fixed damage, while choosing Frost Volt or Physical Flame will give Swift Cut fixed damage. In addition, there are two exclusive passive effects for Frost Volt and Flame Physical elements. The Frost Volt element exclusive passive is Liquid Nitrogen. It reduces final damage taken when the Authorizer has a shield. Upon entering a battle, the Authorizer will gain a Frost Damage Boost that lasts for 30 seconds with a cooldown of 150 seconds. This Damage Boost will be removed when the Authorizer releases the Flash Rider skill. We will further explain this in the Skill Description section. The Fire Physical Element Exclusive Passive is Overheat. This passive will grant a spark when a summon is created, and immediately grant 8 sparks when the Authorizer enters combat. For each stack of sparks gained, recover 8% of the Authorizer's max HP. Sparks can stack up to 8 times. When the maximum stack is reached, gaining another spark will not trigger HP recovery. The spark stacks will be consumed when the Authorizer uses the weapon skill, but it'll be explained in more details later. Next is the introduction to Nola's weapon skill, Violent Energy. Activating Weapon Skill. Nola deals damage and adds a 3-second delay effect to nearby targets, while also entering Super Speed Mode. The Super Speed Mode is Nola's core mechanism, which includes passive properties, new skill acquisition, and even different properties for different stats. First one is the general properties of the Super Speed Mode. Throughout Super Speed Mode, Nola will have Hyper Body, and both her ground and mid-air normal attacks will deal additional damage. At the same time, Overload Effect will stack. The Overload Effect can stack up to six times. When the Authorizer uses the normal attack branch skill, Linked Slashes, all Overload stacks will be consumed to deal additional damage. If the user consumes all six stacks at once, the additional damage will be even higher. Here's a little trick. You can perform Linked Slashes by holding down the Normal Attack button after a Normal Attack, instead of doing Normal Attacks followed by holding down the Normal Attack button twice. Also, if you don't switch weapons within the first 5 seconds of entering Super Speed Mode and keep Rumble on field, Nola will gain a new skill, Flash Rider. Flash Rider will deal multiple instances of damage. After using it, Nola will exit Super Speed Mode. In addition, her Liquid Nitrogen Damage Boost from the Frost Volt passive mentioned previously will also be removed. Next up, we'll talk about properties of the Super Speed Mode under different stats and its usefulness in actual combat. Frost Volt Stat Super Speed Mode lasts for 28 seconds. During this time, Nola gains one stack of Thermal Convergence each time Rumble lands a normal attack or when she receives non-excess healing up to a maximum of 10 stacks. After that, using Flash Rider will consume all stacks of Thermal Convergence, and the Authorizer will gain a Frost Damage Boost based on the stacks consumed, as well as deal AoE damage for 30 seconds. In actual combat using Frost Bolt Rumble, Authorizers should stack Thermal Convergence as quickly as possible, and use Flash Rider to gain a substantial Frost Damage Boost, which increases the damage of other weapons. Flame Physical Stat Super Speed Mode lasts for 23 seconds, consuming all Spark stacks and gaining a base flame attack. It increases based on the number of stacks consumed, as well as a final damage increase exclusive to Rumble. During Super Speed Mode, any flame damage will also trigger a Pursuant AoE damage, which can occur once every two seconds. In actual combat, use Flame Physical Rumble's skill after entering the battle to gain full stacks of flame attack damage boost. Remember to trigger sparks again through summons during continuous combat. Volt Frost Stat 
Super Speed Mode lasts for 18 seconds, during which Nola will get a Volt Damage Boost. Each normal attack from Rumble will grant a stack of Thunderclap. When the Authorizer reaches the maximum of 18 stacks, all stacks will be automatically consumed to deal damage, and the Authorizer will gain a shield that lasts for 10 seconds. This effect can be triggered up to 5 times during one Super Speed Mode. When Nola reaches the maximum stacks of Thunderclap, using the normal Attack Branch skill, Linked Slashes will consume 6 stacks of Oak. The Volt Frost properties make Rumble more suitable as the primary weapon on field. Nola can perform normal attacks to increase stacks before following up with branch attacks. Physical Flame Stat Super Speed Mode lasts for 19 seconds. During this time, the Authorizer will deal damage to nearby targets every second. After hitting a target, the Authorizer will gain a shield with a value that's based on the number of targets hit, up to 10% of max HP. The shield lasts for 10 seconds and the Authorizer can gain a total shield of up to 50% during one Super Speed Mode. The Physical Flame properties provide continuous AoE damage and shield for practical combat, balancing damage and survival. It's good for supporting on-field physical weapons like Anchor. Altered Stat Super Speed Mode lasts for 23 seconds, increasing the Authorizer's max HP recovery. Normal attacks will deal fixed damage based on the Authorizer's max HP. Also, Flash Rider will deal significant extra damage to nearby targets based on the max HP and capped by the Authorizer's attack. This damage is also a fixed damage that is not affected by damage boost. The properties of Altered make it useful for Nola to stay in battle for a prolonged period. Try to use Flash Rider just before Super Speed Mode ends to extend the damage boost. Finally, let's take a look at Nola's very practical Wide World skill. In the Wide World, Nola can enter riding by holding dodge and consume endurance to move quickly. What's more amazing is that after entering riding for 10 seconds, Nola can one-shot enemies simply by... That's all for Nola's showcase. Thanks for watching.